Thank you for tuning in. You're watching The Buzz. And today I wanted to go over the 2018 quarter four results with you and how Tesla actually did in the last quarter of the year. So let's dive right in. Okay, so there's no way I'm going to be able to remember all these numbers. So I am just looking at the PC just to keep my reference going. Okay, so bear with me. Let's do this, folks. So quarter four production numbers are comprised of 61,000 Model 3s, and about 25,000 Model S and Model X, um, which is consistent. The Model X and Model S production numbers are, are consistent of what they've been doing over the past couple of years. Um, but of course, the Model 3, huge, 61,000. And um, so basically more than um, 90,000 deliveries um, were accomplished in quarter four in quarter four of this year, 90,000 Teslas were, de were delivered to folks like you and me. Awesome. Um, so it's just, it's just, Tesla is just, um, they're knocking it down. They, um, I think they got their production ramp figured out. They have the de delivery issues taken care of. And if you go back to my other video, my previous video, um, we talked about um, some issues that Tesla had in quarter two, quarter three with just deliveries and, and cars being um, in transportation or in transit, um, making deliveries late. Um, but what I said is that, you know, they, they were strategically placing vehicles throughout the country, obviously where their orders were coming in from and um, trying to stockpile them so their deliveries were, were much smoother um, than they have been in the um, early part of uh, 2018. Um, so let's let's just continue on here. So um, 63, 61, 63,000, somewhere in there, Model 3s, um, 13,000 Model S's and about 14,000 Model X's um, over the course of 2018. And by the way, I am pulling this off of Tesla Rati. You guys can go ahead and check it out. Um, Electric had some numbers as well too. A um, little bit off, but I'm just giving some some high level stuff. I'm not giving exact um, exact numbers here. So if you want to go out, Tesla, Roddy, and Electrek um, definitely did post these numbers out. Um, so over the course of 2018, Tesla has delivered 245,000 vehicles. That is awesome, folks. That means 245,000 people have adopted EVs as their choice of vehicle. That's huge moving forward. So if they can do that, um, in 2018, just imagine what it's going to be like uh, moving forward in 2019 if they can get that um, $35,000 car that everybody's waiting for in the Model Y and who knows, in 2020 and 2021, um, they may be coming out with some other things, maybe a pickup truck. Um, but anyway, miles, 240,000 vehicles delivered, um, which compromised of 145,000 Model 3s and 99,000 Model S's and X's combined. That is just astonishing, folks. I am so thrilled for Tesla and all of their workers that have been working so hard to get production rates up in manufacturing, taking care of their delivery issues. Um, so it's just been an outstanding, outstanding year and quarter for Tesla. Um, and the other cool thing to note is about 75% of all Model 3 orders in quarter four are from new buyers, people that did not have reservations, who just called up Tesla or went online and ordered that car. Um, that's pretty astonishing too, because you gotta think that these are people that really didn't have a, a, a mindset of going in um, and buying a Model 3, didn't put that thousand dollars down um, earlier on as an early adopter. So these are people that are jumping on the bandwagon, if you will, don't mind me saying that, um, of the EV um, industry and revolution um, that is taking place right in front of our eyes. So um, very, very cool to see. And I think you'll see that number increase um, as we move um, in the next year and people become more familiar with uh, Tesla and other EVs. And you have to think, just for Tesla alone, 
they don't even advertise. It's from people like me and all the other great YouTubers are out there that are sharing um, their experiencing experience with Tesla and about Tesla um, and just sharing that knowledge and, and really getting the word out um, to people. So that, that is just phenomenal. You know, check in the box that check that Tesla can make um, as they move forward. And I know that the stock actually declined a little bit today. I guess the results were a little lower than what was projected on Wall Street. So nonetheless, I still think that Tesla had outstanding numbers here. Um, again, I'm going to repeat them. 245,000 vehicles delivered, 145,000 Model 3s, and almost 100,000 Model S's and Model X's. And this is um, just astonishing. So how, what, what is Tesla, where do they go from here? How do they move this into quarter one? How do they take what they've done in, in quarter four here, move it into quarter one of 2019 and expand on it? What are your thoughts and comments down below just about these numbers in general and about that statement? You know, how does Tesla keep moving it forward? Um, my previous video that I just did, um, I talked about what Tesla, what does Tesla need to do to keep the customers intrigued and wanting them to come back now that the $7,500 tax credit um, was being cut in half to $3,750. Well, today they made another announcement and they actually took $2,000 off of every vehicle um, S3 um, and X um, to help offset the $7,500 tax credit. So, right, you're not gonna get the 7,500 bucks, but you're gonna get 3750 from the federal tax, and Tesla's just reduced the cost on all those vehicles to $1,000. So you're basically getting 5,700 bucks. Now, I was talking to somebody today, and they're like, really, Jerry? Um, $2,000 is nothing. Ford, Chevy, and everybody else gives $2,000 away um, each and every day, and I, and I get that. Um, but the, the thing about this is that it's just helping offset that tax credit um, a little bit for those people that may be on the fence and like, oh, I missed it. Um, but this gives some incentive for them to come back in the store, get that order in. And I said, I, I called it, I said, hey, we're, we're, so they have to do something to incentivize these people to come back in and, and you know continue to purchase a Model 3 S or X, doesn't matter really what it is. Um, but they stepped up to the plate, they did it. Um, we, we probably won't see another move like this um, from Tesla here in uh, quarter one and maybe quarter two of 2019 um, because they really are trying to ramp up and get that uh, $35,000 uh, base Model 3 out the door and built. So again, I think it's, it's a good thing that Tesla did by offering that $2,000. Is it a huge saving? No, it's not really, but you know, for those that, that could use it, hey, there it is for you folks. Um, so what does Tesla do from here? How do they continue to move forward in 2019, continuing to bring new customers in, non-reservation holders to keep you know that, that um, line going upward and just continuing to produce a quality car, affordable, and um, you know, I think that they're on the right track. And this really proved that there are a lot of people standing behind Tesla. Just an outstanding quarter for Tesla, as well as an outstanding year. 2018 has been an absolute phenomenon for Tesla. And I wish them nothing but the best of luck as they move forward. And hey, if you are pondering whether or not you should pick up one of these vehicles, I'm telling you folks, you will not be disappointed. You are going to love the car. You're gonna love everything about it and you are going to adopt the technology um, that is gonna help our planet and kids and, and the whole nine yards. So, you know, think about that as you move through and, um, you know, hopefully you will go ahead online, get that order um, placed. And if you do, don't forget to use my referral code. I will link it down below for you. You know, you get to be part of, of a revolution really is the way I consider it. And, um, you know, hopefully uh, in 2019 and 2020, there'll be some additional cars that will be coming to market. Um, again, I, I think that Tesla is leaps and bounds away uh, ahead of the game from all other competitors. And, you know, that's fine. But um, hopefully as a consumer, you know, you always want to see some additional product out on the marketplace. But um, yeah, so there you have it, folks. Thank you for tuning in. And please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. I'm really trying to get a push here. I have one more month left to reach a thousand subscribers. And if you are viewing us 
for the first time, thank you for tuning in. And if you have been uh, viewing us, we appreciate you and thank you for coming back and tuning into our channel. Um, so yeah, there you have it, folks. Thank you very much. Have a great night.